My name is Carla. My favorite boy band since high school just broken up. I'm 50 years old. Who watched the live DVD with nostalgia as I sip beer every night? You may ridicule me for my nostalgic nature, but I can't help it. I will be grateful if you could accept me the way I am. Today, I would like to tell you a story from five years ago. When my beloved boy band was still not disbanded. I was living a peaceful life with my husband Jason, who was the same age as me. But then, he suddenly started to pay more attention to his appearance. Isn't that a good thing? Yes, of course. That is, if he was a regular guy. Jason had always been a very lazy, nerdy guy. He was a bit better before we got married. I wouldn't have had taken a super lazy man for a husband. No, but he was still a nerd. As far as I was concerned, I believed that men should be a little nerdy so that they wouldn't play around. Hence, I decided on Jason. When I was younger, I dated a good looking, stylish older guy who ended up cheating on me. I had learned to pick a man not by his look. But by his personality. I know I'm totally biased. I stayed away from guys who were stylish, cultured with French cuisine and Italian wine, and thoughtful. This is how I chose my husband. I didn't mind that Jason gradually became more carefree and sloppier after our marriage, as long as he was kind and treated me well. I didn't know what happened to a guy like that all of a sudden. He started wearing flat shirts and a pair of damaged jeans. Sometimes he wore a twisted scarf around his neck, too. Let's leave aside the fact that his choices were unquestionably bad taste. T shirts and high rise jeans used to be his normal attires. If you had given him a suspender, And a pair of glasses. He would have had looked like a guy from Family Matters. But he changed just like that. It was natural for me to wonder what happened. He even started to spend more than 10 minutes to style his hair in the mornings. He obsessed with covering his baldness. You don't have that much hair. If the wind blew, all your effort would be a waste. There is not much different anyway. Instead of telling him that, I commented, You've been looking stylish lately. He happily replied, Right? He only said it was a change of his mood. The reason for the change was exactly what I wanted to find out. I knew something was up. I decided to let him carry on with his tasteless style for a month or so. He also became consumed on his computer. He couldn't even hear me asking what he wanted for dinner every night. Hey, Han! Hello! I tapped him on the shoulder. What the? Don't touch me! I was so shocked when he shoved my hand away. Not sure if Jason thought he had gone too far, but he made an awkward face. If you need me, just call out. He didn't hear me, so I tapped him on the shoulder. He locked his computer and walked out of the living room, leaving me in dismay. I thought he was on his computer for longer than usual those days. He was engrossed in screen even when he got home late or on his days off. I understood that he wasn't allowed to stay over time. So he brought his work home, but it was absolutely strange to see all those changes. If he was working on his PC, I would have supposed he would plug in a USB, but there was no external device around. In short, he didn't seem to be working. Besides, he often looked too relaxed with a beer in his hand while on his computer. It was very odd. I could smell something foul. 
Just I was thinking about it lightheartedly. Crisis happened three days later. I've been thinking. Why don't we separate? Jason suggested improperly in front of a cake and champagne. It was my birthday. I assumed Jason had forgotten, so I prepared my own cake and champagne to celebrate myself. But what outrageous words had c a m e out of his mouth? You and I are both 45 this year. We've been together since our 20s. I suppose you've been thinking to live your own life too. Nope. I just wanted to live a leisurely retirement. That was all. I had never been awakened by such a thought. I think there are feelings for each other that can only be realized when you are alone. We've been awkward lately anyway. I may have thought that housework would be easier without a lazy husband. But you're the only one feeling awkward, you know. Besides, my mom is getting old. I'd rather live with her and look after her for her remaining life. I think it would be an opportunity for us to find a new relationship with each other. Jason seemed adamant with his proposal, as if to say it was a, such a great idea. He added, I want you to think about it. I was flabbergasted with his life changing suggestion that I couldn't make a word for a moment. I squeezed out. Let me think about it. Oh, my head hurts. This is the worst birthday ever. When I thought about staying in a loveless, dysfunctional relationship, I honestly agreed with separation. I did care about Jason. Even though he was balding and was nerdy. But if he didn't feel the same way, then what choice did I have? Tied him to a chair and dangled a coin in front of him and hypnotized him to love me again. If that really worked, I would have resisted separation. How he said, it sounded more like the end. That's why I asked for a time to think. He had been obviously tacky. Not tacky, but strange. He had become fashionably tacky and treated me as if I was something dirty. He was right. Our relationship turned awkward. I sensed one possibility from all, including him being glued to his computer for a long time. He definitely has another woman. If that was the case, Instead of thinking about separation, I needed time to gather evidence. I wasn't just going over and over the issue. I was deliberately careful. I was actually coming up with an organized plan. I decided to look into his computer right after while he was at work. It was locked, but I knew what kind of password he used. I assumed it was his birthday. Sure enough, he really had set his birthday as a password. So easy. Too obvious. You guys, be careful. If you set your birthday as a password, it will be easily unlocked. After effortless unlocking it, I looked at the data as if it were my own. The desktop was organized. And there was nothing work related as expected. There had to be something to make him glued to the computer. I opened his mail and couldn't help but laugh out loud. A few days later, I extracted the data from his computer to USB and headed for his mother's house with my laptop. Hi, Carla. It's been a while. You're alone. Where's Jason? Never mind. Come inside. It had been two years since she lost her husband. She still felt lonely living without him. When she saw me, she gave me a bright smile. I entered the house as prompted. I've come to talk to you about something today. Oh, what's the matter? If I could be any help, I would. I told her what happened on my birthday 
and how weird Jason had been acting lately. After hearing everything, she said, That bastard. He met another woman. Not bothering to hide her disgust, she sat back on the sofa with her arms crossed. I think so. Please have a look at this. I plugged the USB into my laptop and showed her all the evidence I collected. Ha ha ha! This is ridiculous! Right? Now here's my request. Will you help me cornering Jason? Of course. It's too upsetting to keep quiet. Do you have a plan? Should I call him over? Yes, I do. Let's call him over. I told her about my plan, which she agreed and called Jason. I want to talk to you about something, so come over to my house. I assumed he was no longer going to follow my invitation. Even if the two of us had a talk at home, I was skeptical that he was going to listen to the woman he despised. Unless I was agreeable to the point of let's separate, let's do it. I doubt that we could have had a proper conversation. Hence, I asked his mother to be in the middle. Without knowing anything, Jason came over asking, What's going on? Day by day, it took him longer and longer to style his hair. Even this morning, it took him almost an hour to be ready. Despite his effort, it was completely flattened and became shiny barcode hair. And yet, strangely enough, he was wearing his bangs in fashionable way. Wait. It wasn't fashionable. He looked creepier that he swept his bangs to the side. Darn, it was really bad. He didn't notice that I was stirring up his hair. As soon as he saw me, Kala, you're here too, he said in surprise. Hi, I said lightheartedly. I want to talk to you about something. So I consulted with your mother first. It's about our separation. Jason, you are so thoughtful. I can't believe you are willing to live with your old mother. It's getting hard for me to do the housework anyway. I will leave everything to you. You are such a devoted son. What? She was enjoying the situation a little too much. That she was getting theatrical. Jason turned pale as if to say, I didn't mean that. Yeah, he wants to live with you and look after you from now on instead of living with me, you know. That shows his strong determination to take care of everything in your life. Wait, no! His mother didn't let Jason's feeble denial go unnoticed. What? No? Were you planning to leave everything to the elderly and live a lazy life? His mother asked angrily. Jason mumbled, well, with shifty eyes. It's not that you met another woman, right? Don't deny, because I already know everything. What? You knew? He looked astounded. Don't underestimate me. I have proof too. He was dismayed. No excuse if you already know. Yes, I want to start my life over with Linda. He confessed. What is it about Linda that you are so attracted to? She's the one you choose to leave me for. Tell me. At my harsh question, Jason hesitated for a moment and then answered. She accepts me for who I am. I see. And then? There is something sexy and very feminine about her. It's been a long time since I felt my heart pounding. She is quite assertive too. She gives me a hope that I can still feel this way at my age. Good for you. Anything else? 
What? Um, yeah. I'm not young anymore, but she says I'm good looking. She likes the way I dress and the way I look. I know it's flattery, but it makes me happy. For many reasons, I couldn't hold back my laughter. But I tried my best to hold it in. A giggle escaped from his mother, but I spoke over it to hide from Jason. She likes your face? Huh? I'm embarrassed. Um, it may be out of politeness, but she really gives me self assurance. Like she's holding me in her arms. It's soothing. I see, I see. Where did you meet her? Well, she sent me an email by mistake. Ah,、oh, and have you taken her on a date? Not yet. She hasn't separated with her husband, so we decided to be patient. I see. By the way, have you heard of catfishing? Huh? The way you guys met was by email, right? I- yes. Did you even check the sender's address? That was a spam mail from a dating site. Didn't she send you a URL to continue chatting with her? Weren't you told to register on the site and pay a monthly fee? Yes, but it was just that she needed to use the site to hide from her husband. Yep, that's the trick. No way! She sent me a picture of her. Is this it? I showed him the picture of Linda I got from his mail, and a picture of Mary I found on some blog. Those were the same pictures. Obviously, the dating site had taken the picture of Mary without her consent. As expected, the shady site ignored the law and did whatever it could to con people. Wait, Linda? No. Mary? What do you mean? I mean, you were swindled by catfishing and paid the membership and the monthly fee. I never thought anyone would be tricked by such a site nowadays. You should have used the money to buy hair growth products instead. I couldn't contain my laughter and burst out. No, Carla? Jason's mother pretended to stop me. But also laughed out loud. Jason, who had been mocked by the two women, looked inconceivable and kept mumbling, No way. She was ecstatic when I asked her to move in with me. Thank you, Jacob. I would love to someday. What kind of home cooking do you like? When I read out Linda's reply to Jason's suggestion, his eyes widened. She called you Jacob, not Jason. And she even passed over the subject of moving in together. It's the same for meeting up. She keeps dodging your questions to get you to pay more, right? You should have noticed, idiot. Hey. He was trembling. What was it? Sexy and assertive? Let's see. There were a sultry picture of her. Those were stolen from others as well. Her face wasn't even shown. Couldn't you tell that the body shape clearly didn't match? She looked more voluptuous than the pictures with her face. It was all just a bunch of little tricks that could have been noticed without looking in details. Thanks to people like Jason, who could be easily fooled. This kind of sight still existed. I felt like I saw the darkness of the modern world. No! No way! Well, take it whichever way you like truth or deception. What was it, a separation? Okay, let's not just separate but divorce. Sign this. I presented the signed divorce papers without hesitation. His face was already as white as a ghost, but turned even whiter. I apologize! He exclaimed. 
I've been out of my mind. I agree. I'm gonna break up. No, quit the site. Please forgive me for what I did. You really are crazy. I quickly responded, but he didn't give up. Wait! Don't leave me alone! You're going to live with your mother, aren't you? Mm hmm. I will be waiting for you with a messy house. You will have to do all the housework. His mother was more than happy to be on my side. She once said she always wanted to fix her son's laziness, but she didn't manage to do so. This is her chance to teach him in a hard way. I'm sure she would purposely make a mess and wait for him. No, no. You know, I'm not moving in with you, Mom. I was supposed to live with Linda. If you divorced me, I would be all alone. Why don't you just live with your computer? Linda is in it anyway. Well, the real person is probably a man, though. I'd heard that catfishing was often done by the same sex as they understand the feelings better. So I'm quite certain that Linda was a healthy male who worked for good money. <laughs> I wish you a passionate life with your computer, my ex-husband. Jason's mother burst out laughing, and I was also hysterical. Jason crumbled down to the floor with a miserable look on his face. Two days later, Jason signed the divorce papers mindlessly. He was depressed and looked as if his spirit has been drained. Because there was no adultery, I asked for the house and all the belongings instead of alimony. If he had been his usual self, he would never have given me anything. He was so spaced out that he didn't even hear my words. He just agreed to whatever I asked in a rapid succession. And I got what I wanted. Way to go! I even wanted to thank Linda, who was actually a man, for making him so bewildered. On the third day, I let him keep the computer which has so many memories of Mr. Linda for him, and kicked him out of the house. He didn't have a place to stay, so he went back to his mother's. By coincidence, he can not only live with Mr. Linda, but take care of his mother. Good for him. He should have thanked me for letting him keep the computer. Yes, right. Five years have passed since then. I love Jason's mother like my own, so we still keep in touch. She told me that Jason became completely bold from the stress. Ironically, he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Congratulations, good for you. Apparently, the neighborhood kids called him shiny. I laughed at the child's direct but innocent wickedness. Jason's mother too. Hey, Shiny, hurry up! Mocks him playfully in public. So the mother of the children thought it was okay to call him that as well. They greet him. Good morning, Mr. Shiny. It has unexpectedly become an official name for him. Of course, there is no sign of Mr. Shiny to remarry. Mr. Linda has become his last love. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. On the other hand, I'm working part-time as a cashier at a nearby supermarket. I was getting a little bored with my unstimulating life that I joined a senior circle. We have dinner, drinks, and karaoke competitions. I'm pleasantly surprised to know that I can make new friends even at my age. I'm enjoying my life every day. The other day, I had a luxurious karaoke contest with people who used to like the same boy band. We are able to share our good and bad times in the past. It's really nice to be surrounded by good friends. By the way, I'm a good singer. 
I've won every karaoke contest that I regularly make extra income. I win cash prizes every time. My life isn't like great expectations or move up the career ladder or sail on the open sea. It's not a glamorous life, but it's a great second life. I learned from the bad example of my ex-husband that I will always take care of my hair. Yes, right. <laughs>